Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm taking a look at some items from Miscellaneous Goods Company. Let's check them out. So Miscellaneous Goods Company got a hold of me and asked me if I wanted to check out some of their stuff. And of course, I accepted. Especially after I saw they had wallets in their inventory. So right here, let's start with the wallet. We have the Keep It Slim Wallet V3. And then right here, I haven't even opened it yet. These are some playing cards. And right here, we have some solid cologne. But they do have other stuff than just what's here in this box. Uh, we'll go over that just a little bit later on in this video. So let's start here with the solid cologne. So this is the Underhill version. They have three different scents. Underhill, Valley of Gold, and Grassland. Now I'm gonna read right here off the website. It says Underhill is an earthy wood, leather, and rosemary scent. Uh, that's awesome. And check out this case that it comes in. This is fantastic. It says that it's a walnut wood case with a brass inlay. This case is three inches by 2.3 inches and weighs about two ounces. And the whole point is to make it very portable, very pocketable. So let's open up this lid here and it is held together by two magnets. I'm just gonna take it apart so you can see what's going on right here. But the idea is just slide one part open so it just hinges right there. You can take the cologne out, close it up. And I can smell this from here, it smells Awesome, so it says that it's a mix of 14 ingredients, rosemary, athelis, uh, leather, pipe tobacco, several wood species, open air, and a sweet scent of freshly poured or spilled ale. And it's a beeswax and jojoba solid cologne. And oh my goodness, I really wish you guys can smell this. But I'm pretty sure by that scent list, you guys have a pretty good idea. And if you're anything like me, uh, you're gonna love this. Now this solid cologne does come in at 78 bucks, but the nice thing is once you buy the case and the cologne in it, you don't have to buy the case again because the cologne is refillable. And you can see that right here with that little nail nick. Um, I can't get it out right now. It's in there pretty good, but yes, it does come out. And it looks like the refills are 20 bucks, so that is awesome. So this is a pretty cool first item to pull out of this box here. I'm actually really impressed with this. A pretty nice wooden case here with the brass inlay and the cologne smells fantastic. I love it. All right, next, let's check out the playing cards. I'm gonna leave the wallet for last, and obviously I haven't even opened these up yet. So let's take off this plastic wrap, or does it have a little pull tab? Oh my goodness, I think it has just a little pull tab. So let's put the knife back and yeah, obviously, a little pull tab. So this is a pretty nice little box. This is the black playing cards, and they have it listed for 15 bucks. And comes in one, two, three, four, five different colors. Actually, before I take the cards out, check this out here. This is really nice, the black box with the gold foil lettering, and look at that, that is awesome. So let's open this up here, oh, check that out. That's very cool. So. I don't know anything about miscellaneous goods playing cards, but apparently this is how they got their start, doing a Kickstarter for these playing cards and then just grew from there and, okay. They have a very distinctive style. It looks very traditional to normal playing cards, but it looks fairly unique, especially with the Jokers here. I'm guessing these are the two Jokers and that is awesome. Here is the Ace of Spades. Let's see what else we can find in here. There's the Queen. There is, get my thumb out of the way, the King. And then the Ace of Diamonds, which is very cool. Check that artwork out, I love it. And then I can just keep going right through and showing you guys all the artwork. <laughs> Look at that, that's very cool. But yeah, I mean, they're playing cards. They feel pretty high quality, the Ace of Clubs. So I'm not gonna spend too much time here on the cards, but yeah, um, I don't play much cards anymore. I used to play Hold'em. I used to play in tournaments all the time and then used to play spades with my buddies. I don't do that much anymore because of work and YouTube takes up all my time. But let me put these back in here. Very nice cards, guys. I thank you very much for that. And now let's 
get to the wallet here. So this is the Keepa Slim Flap Wallet V3. There's a V1, V2, the V3, which is right here, and a V4. So this is the Keepa Slim Wallet V3. Comes in at 68 bucks. It's an oil tan New Haven full grain leather sourced from Thoroughbred Leather in Louisville, Kentucky, where Miscellaneous Goods Company is located. And it looks like the V1 is also oil tanned. Uh, the V2, I believe, is vegetable tan. Yep, this is a hand-stitched, wax thread, laser-cut, vegetable tanned wallet. And V3 and the V4 right here is black. And it is a 4-ounce black bridal leather. Uh, it doesn't really say if it's oil chrome or vegetable tan. But regardless, they have four different colors of the Keep It Slim wallet. And they also have a passport wallet and they have a long wallet available. So let me give you guys a nice close-up of the Keep It Slim wallet right here. You can see miscellaneous good company right there. It's stamped on the bottom and it says Keep It right there on the top. And I'll tell you, this leather feels very, very nice. I checked out the stitching here. The stitching looks fantastic. You can see that on both sides. And it's a horizontal pouch style wallet with a flap. And it's just the one single pocket, just the one pouch. And this single pocket can hold between 15 and 25 cards plus cash. And inside here is just a card from Miscellaneous Goods Company. On the back, it has some of their emails, uh, their website, and some of their social information right there. And all of their wallets are all hand stitched with wax thread, all made in the USA in Kentucky. And check this out. So on the bottom, on the top right there, it says keep it. And then on the bottom, it says lose it. So that's interesting. And then on the back here, it has, the number three, which is for the V3, the name, and then also it says, what is that? M G Co, it's just their initials. And then we have a little saying down here on the bottom. The saying says, it will all fade along with you. It will turn to dust, so be generous and leverage it well. So I think this wallet looks great. I'm not the biggest fan of all of the writing and stamps and engraving all over it. As you guys know, I like very minimal branding such as just a miscellaneous good company right there on the bottom. I would have been happy with just that. And the three up there in the corner on the back, I think that's great. But, you know, to each his own, it doesn't take away from the functionality of the wallet. It's just my personal opinion. But if you've been watching this channel for any amount of time, you guys already know that. So let's get back to the wallet here and let's test out if it can really hold 15 to 25 cards plus cash. And I just realized I can't do 25 because I don't have 25 cards to test out here. I usually have 20, but right now I only have 19. I must have lost a card somewhere down the road. That's weird. So right here is 15 flat cards. So this is gonna be brand new. And let me just see how many I can fit in there now because there's no way I'm gonna get this many cards in this wallet without stretching it out first and the wallet, the leather molding to my cards. And right now I'm even having issues and I'm not even close to being there. So right now I only have eight flat cards in there and it's looking pretty full <laughs> at this moment. Let me get another one in there that's nine, 10. All right, so there we go. I managed to get 10 in there. And like I said, this is a brand new wallet. I haven't even carried this at all. So I have no doubt that this leather is going to stretch and mold and conform to the cards after a little bit of time. But right now, being a brand new wallet, 10 cards? I mean, you guys tell me, what do you think? So I'm going to forego trying to get 15 or even 19 cards in there. I'm going to stop at 10. Um, could we get some cash in there? And you know what, let me just see if we can get bills in there folded in half. And yeah, absolutely. Um, it can handle bills folded in half, as you can see there. So here's six cards. This is what I would carry. No problems getting those in there. And then some bills folded in half. And then tuck it up. Yeah, absolutely no problems at all. So the Keep It Slim Wallet V3 at 68 bucks, yeah. I'm digging it. It's just my personal preference not to have the engraving here. Uh, I wish they offered a version without the engraving. I'm looking at the website right now and I don't see an option to keep that off. But, you know, I'd rather just have the logo right there, uh, miscellaneous goods company logo with the three and let's stop right there. And now of course, let's do a smell test. Ah, okay, so it smells pretty good. It doesn't have that 
overwhelming classic leather smell that I absolutely love, but it still smells pretty good. And now let's check out some of the other stuff that Miscellaneous Goods Company has. They have some gift set bundles right here, some cologne, solid cologne, which you've already seen the Underhill version. I'm a big fan of this. Oh, they even have some deodorant, some uh, natural deodorant, roll-on cologne, incense and holders, some t-shirts, playing cards. We saw that. They have belts, a couple different versions of wallets, the slim, the long wallet, and the passport wallet, a ceramic flask. That's interesting. And some soy candles. Let me check out this flask here. Oh boy, 118 bucks. But you know what? I've seen some flasks that get up to a couple hundred, two, three hundred dollars. So that's right in the ballpark, especially for a ceramic flask. Oh, uh, this is very, very nice. Leather straps, brass hardware, uh, holds 11 ounces. Ooh, this is sweet. But you guys get the idea. Miscellaneous Goods Company. I'm a fan of their wallet. I absolutely love their solid cologne, the Underhill scent specifically. Very nice playing cards here. Yeah, guys. Very nice work. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you think of the items I showed you here from Miscellaneous Goods Company? If you want to check them out for yourself, I will have links below in my description box. But if you did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe and go!